about selected area electron diffraction and how to interpret this so this image is for single crystal it is just dots one one dots and these dots are locating exactly at the same position from each other so I mean there is a completely order and the right side image is for polycrystalline material how these rings are formed and why there is no ring in single crystal watch my video and I will make it very very clear I just uh, collect this information uh, 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 with very hard work so please please watch my video it is very very good information and uh, you cannot understand uh, by reading or by searching I collect a very good information uh, in this video so selected area electron diffraction why we are doing this analysis it is uh, with the TEM analysis when we further zoom zoom in uh, bring it to the diffraction mode so it gives us these images uh, this uh, uh, tool is basically this characterization tool is basically used to know that where, whether your material is single crystalline or polycrystalline because XRD is very difficult to tell you about the single and polycrystalline XRD just give you the information about the crystallinity whether your material is crystalline or not as I explained many times that when the, the intensity was higher so we say it is crystalline and sharp when the intensity of the uh, peak were not sharp and not higher so we say it is amorphous but we did not know that how to get information about the single crystal and polycrystalline. Selected area electron diffraction will give you about that, that whether your material is single or crystalline. This is very, very important. And it is also used to find the despacing of the crystal planes. Because and crystal atoms are lying in a planes. So you want to know the distance between those planes in a crystal. So uh, this uh, uh, transition will also tell you about that now what are the main features and main information we can get from this number one single crystalline or monocrystalline in single crystal or monocrystal uh, the depression will uh, give the discrete spot like this why because in single crystal all the atoms are in the same order toward the edges of the material so this means that the reflection will uh, or the diffraction will be uh, at a one point here particularly one point you see here so there is no diffuse or rings because all light or electron uh, diffract at a particular place uh, let me give you uh, that how single crystal looks like I have this uh, images here you will see here uh, this is a rod shape here and you will see that uh, there will be no uh, mini crystal mini grains it, the whole uh, thing will look like a single crystal you see here you cannot see any grains you see it looks like it looks like same thing you see here the planes are in this direction here so it gives us this depression because this is this is the uh, <coughs> single crystal material now let's go to the polycrystalline material in how it will give us the depression pattern because polycrystalline material give us ring shape why ring shape because polycrystalline is composed of many crystallite or many single crystal how let me show you here in this diagram this is another material you will see here so when we zoom 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 so you will see grains you will see many crystal you see this is very good information very very good information it's you see it's many crystal here mean uh, in some cases the crystal is oriented in this direction in other cases oriented in this direction so it, it is it is you see it is polycrystalline material you see the planes are in this direction here the planes are in this direction in another case planes are in this direction you see here so this is why the reflection comes from one plane in one direction from another planes of another direction or from another single crystal so it make a shape like this and let's see it make it explain it further here uh, polycrystalline consists of many crystallites or many single crystal as I explain so small parts the small parts are the discrete 
the small r the uh, discrete discrete parts making up a ring you see because this discrete parts come from uh, a single single crystal just like i explained here from every single crystal for example this is one crystal here single crystal this is another single crystal this is another single crystal look like this you see like, like a mirror so from one mirror one reflection other reflection so because of that it make like a the ring here look now individual crystallites give these parts arising from bragg's reflection as i explained before resulting numerous resultantly numerous discrete parts line up in form a ring it form a rings you see here so polycrystalline material will give us a ring if you are talking about amorphous amorphous will also give us a ring but that ring will be diffuse ring diffuse ring mean that the intensity will be very very low in it because in amorphous uh, the reflection or the diffraction is are there but there is a completely chaotic chaos of eta atom arrangement this is a disorder so one from one side another from another side so the uh, the, the 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 pattern the xrd pattern the 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 sayed pattern the selected electro area electron diffraction pattern will be diffuse diffuse mean not intense the intensity will be very very low so in my coming video i will explain that how to find the uh, interplanar spacing between these rings and there is a very good and lengthy calculation uh, how to find so please uh, watch my videos and this is very very informative videos please share with your friends and if i am doing a mistake because this is knowledge sharing channel so please put in your comments so i will uh, think about that and we will have a good debate and discussion thanks for watching